Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. It is Thursday and I am in Biddeford, Maine, on my way back from dropping Derek and Skylar off at the airport. And I have so many mixed emotions and part of me just feels like never doing YouTube again because I just feel quite down and out for so many reasons. The best thing to do is to just force myself, push through it, things will get back to normal, I will feel better or at least different than I feel right now after a few days. So I'm just going to pretend that life is normal and that all is good. I don't know. I never feel like life is good. <laughs> More on that coming soon on Growing Up Crazy, the darker side of Darlene. Very anxious to get back to that channel. Very anxious to um, get back to crafting to show you guys my new setup for my sewing room. So there are some things to look forward to, but I hate to let myself ever feel joy because it doesn't last long. I don't know. Okay, I'm in that kind of a mood. That's all there is to it. So let's just pretend that everything is just back to normal. Let's not dwell on the past five weeks and what I did and didn't do and what I accomplished and didn't accomplish and how happy it made me, how sad it made me. Wonderful memories. I hate memories. All right, let's talk about all that later. Let's just go into Market Basket and shop like I used to do with you guys. Please don't leave me now that I'm alone. So many of you are used to Skylar now. I feel like I'm nothing without her. Oh, talking quite loud even though my window is up and I have an old couple in a convertible next to me. I want to be an old couple in a convertible. Okay, folks, I'm going into Market Basket because I just want to take advantage of swinging by here since I'm going right past it. And oddly enough, I have lost my phone, and I thought, oh, Derek accidentally grabbed it thinking it was his. And then I said, but maybe did I leave it home? I have the case. I swear I put the phone in this case, but I don't see it anywhere in the car. But I heard it faintly, so it's somewhere in this car, unless I imagined it. Was I hearing the bells of heaven? I do not know. <laughs> so when I get out, I'm going to go and look. Maybe under the seat or something. I don't know. But I will say that Derek and Skylar seemed very happy to be going home. She just looked awesome. She wore her, I call it her hippie skirt and her new shirt that I bought her. And she just was very, very happy to be going home with her hot daddy. <laughs> And I'm um, very happy for them and Derek and I got to talk about a lot of things on the way to the airport and I'll fill you in on some of that stuff as it happens and okay let's go in the store I need some beef I gotta get back to my low carb way of life I slipped I slipped maybe the past two weeks or more specifically this past week of having Skylar the beginning I did really really good but I actually had pasta Weiss, I think, elbows one time, spaghetti, and uh, another time, and just, you know, a couple of sandwiches in there, so just stuff I'm not used to, and I'm going to tell you, I can feel it. I can feel when I have those carbs. It is like a drug. First of all, does it make me feel good? Second of all, it makes me want more, so I really have to get back to uh, getting away from those things. Okay, let's go in. I'll talk to you when I get out. I'm taking you with me, because they don't know me here, so you're coming in a hard time to find a place to talk with you and there's currently nobody by the beer in my old hangout okay I got all kinds of things already their little hot chickens not reduced are only $4.49 so I grabbed one stopping right behind me My mother was just talking to me about these seven bone steaks or whatever. She used to love those. Haven't had them in forever. $2.99 a pound. I'm buying her one. $5.23. My God, more people. I am in a serious mood for beef. I'm getting two roasts. $1.99 a pound. Let's see, two of them. 
one is almost eight dollars the other one is just over eight then I got romaine lettuce 99 cents for this big head of lettuce and a red leaf also 99 cents and I got celery for 129 tomatoes for 99 cents a pound and some delish zucchini 99 cents a pound no 79 cents a pound <gasps> this is the store that has my marinated mushrooms I haven't had any in a long time we'll get do love I'm gonna get my mother some blueberry waffles 99 cents for the box there's 10 in there she likes homemade waffles but I'm gonna let her give those a try my mother is completely out of bread getting her market basket Italian 150 market basket pumpernickel 150 and a market basket raisin bread 189 I'm buying a cake mix because I'm gonna make a super easy banana bread that running kimono made just cake mix some ripe bananas eggs vanilla if you want she used yellow. I'm using spice. I discussed this with my mother. She loves spice cake and she says she would absolutely love spice cake banana bread. So we're going with that and I will be doing this on video. And that cake mix was $1.25. Expensive. I can't even get instant coffee here. It's so outrageously priced and there's nothing but gigantic sizes that I don't want. Not at that price. So I'm gonna have to wait to make my iced coffee. I need to get some and uh, we'll get it at Walmart. They have canned vegetables. 12 pack for $5.99, which is 50 cents per can. I'm getting a case of the green beans and I would like to come on another shopping trip and just stock up on some of these. Because even though I don't coupon anymore, I like to stock up when I can get stuff cheap. I wish they had the mixed vegetables for this price. Going with just green beans right now because that's all I feel like fucking in the house. Somebody once told me that's what's wrong with America. People like me who don't want to lug things in the house. I'll never forget that comment. <laughs> and I'm assuming she meant that it's because I was fat. Made me feel so warm and cozy. Can you tell I'm tired? I'd rather just stand here and chat with you guys. I got some dressing to go with my lettuce. Creamy Caesar, buttermilk ranch. One fifty each. I'm a spending fool. Can't believe I couldn't get coffee here. I gotta get milk and I can't find my marinated mushrooms. Why does life have to be so difficult? I found them. $5.99 for this size jar. 32 ounces. They are so good. I'm totally gonna splurge because I want my iced coffee to be extra special. Light cream. Two friggin' 89 for this. Maybe I shouldn't do it. I don't want you guys to think you have to have light cream in your coffee to make it delicious. Because you don't. Take a picture, it lasts longer. So what do I do? Do I get it or not? My mother would love some light cream with her peaches. <sighs> I'm gonna get some. They don't even have store brand large curd cottage cheese. Uh, why do people shop here? I think I better stick to Walmart. Look at how tasty white I am. What gives? My new name, Casper. Oh my goodness, I'm tired. I'm anxious to slice up some beef. I'm in the beef mood. And some marinated mushrooms. I'm gonna make myself a salad and some beef. I think that sounds awesome. And I'm going to be able to sit and eat uninterrupted. I found my phone, it was on the floor. Let's see, I texted Derek ask how things were going. Let's see if he has replied. I do know how to text. I'm a texting fool. I see a number one. Everything is good. Should be boarding in about 25 minutes. Well, that's good. 
he was there like two hours and 15 minutes before his flight just in case there was like an overload of people because of the southwest disaster that happened yesterday where all their systems were down and many people could not fly so they had to get new flights today whatever all good you saw everything i bought i didn't buy anything else no sneaky sneaky just can't believe i'm going home alone i hate that all right i have so many things to talk to you guys about be ready for overload of just darlene poor you poor you guys Ugh, agency liquor store it's almost tempting <laughs> Okay, I will talk to you guys later. I'm on my merry way home and I have to lug all the food in the house because if I don't, then I'm the reason that something's wrong with America. <laughs> you know, it's funny when I get fat comments. I do get quite a few. No, nah, I shouldn't say quite a few. I get some fat comments, but they usually put F in fat, you know, the F word in front of it, and I don't like that word on my channel because of kids looking at my comments and stuff. So I, I delete those. I have no problem with somebody calling me fat because it's true. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that word. To me, it's like, you know, somebody saying, oh, you're short. You know, a lot of people don't like being short. They can't help it. I'm me. I can't help who I am. It's me. But somebody recently said, and he said it like three or four different places, I was fat and ugly. Fat and ugly, fat and ugly. And, and the people who were replying in the comments, what was funny is they were like, so what? You know, maybe she likes herself that way. And I was like, okay, I'm fat, but you know, can I be a little bit cute sometimes? You don't have to call me ugly, do you? And you don't have to agree with the comment. <laughs> To me, I'm fat and ugly. I have been ugly all my life. I've never felt anything but ugly. Or, at the best, just maybe not attractive. Yeah, it's probably about the highest my self-esteem has ever been. People can call me what they want. I don't care. I don't know what started this. Oh, because of I was what's wrong with America. All right, I'm going to go now because I'm starting to talk about foolishness. Right back to the old ways. Oh, a normal goodbye. Do I remember how? Yes, I do. So anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for everything. Bye.